Today we're going to update the firmware on your printer. This firmware tool is good for the Smart 30 series and Smart 50 series. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure that you have the latest version of the tool available. So the easiest way to do that is to go to idp-corp.com. You want to go to support and then downloads. And then the download section will show an installation CD. Uh, we recommend that you download the latest version of the installation CD for the Smart 30 and Smart 50 series. And then in that CD, in that file that's downloaded, will be a utility tool. So on the CD itself, you'll see a tool, a folder called Utilities. You want to go into the Utilities folder, and then you want to click on Card Printer Firmware. So the first thing that will happen is that your printer uh, needs to be turned on, needs to be in ready state, and needs to be connected with either USB or Ethernet. If you don't, me please make sure that you have ribbon in the machine. Please make sure, again, that it's in the ready to print state before you do this. The printer itself will be shown in this drop down box. If you have more than one printer, then more than one printer will be shown and you can update them individually. So as you can see, the latest version is shown here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll browse to the folder where I have the firmware selected. Um, I, what we also recommend is that you can download the latest version of the firmware from our website also and then put it on, on a location on your PC where you can find it. You can browse to it easily. So the latest version here is 1086. So we'll open and then we will update. So there's two buttons here. There's a manual update and, and, and a, regu a regular update. We recommend that you hit the regular update. And what that will do is that will um, turn the machine off and then back on. The reason it does that is it wants to make sure it clears the queue, make sure there's no print jobs waiting to print, um, and make sure that the memory is clear. So the printer will reboot, as you can hear. Now it's re rebooted and it's ready to go. As you can see, it's transferring the data. And then the LCD display will actually show the update as it happens. The printer says downloading. Once it's been downloaded, you'll see that the machine will again reboot itself. Once it comes back up and initialized, it'll be ready to print. As the machine boots up, you'll see that the new firmware version has been downloaded and accepted. And then again, you'll see it up here, 86. Now you've got the latest software, or excuse me, firmware. The laminator, as this you see, I've got a laminator attached to this machine. This is actually a 50L, so that you do the exact same process. Um, it is very important that when you are selecting the firmware, when you browse, that you browse the correct firmware. So you browse printer firmware and laminator firmware. So the last thing you want to do is install, let's say, laminator's firmware into a printer. That will cause a problem and the machine will have to come back to us for reset. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at getidpsupport.com. Thank you.